Hi everyone, it's Miss Tara from the Northwest Library, and I'm back to share with you some of my new favorite picture books. At the branches, we're getting ready for our summer reading, and we hope that you will join us. And if you need more information, please visit our website or call one of your locations. All right, I'm gonna start with a favorite. Um, if you haven't read the Bruce books, The Bear is Bruce, um, by Ryan T. Higgins, I highly recommend you check out some Bruce picture books. Um, Bruce is a impatient, somewhat angry bear, and um, he's got some really loud talking friends, uh, and he really likes to be by himself, but his friends just don't allow it. This, the newest one here, is called The Bruce Swap, all right? And it turns out Bruce has a brother that's not at all like Bruce. So Bruce is frustrated, his friends are talking too much, he goes fishing, his friends wake up, Bruce is gone, and then Bruce is back, and Bruce wants to go fishing and hiking and camping and wants to have a food fight, um, and they don't understand what happened to their angry yet lovable Bruce. So this is probably my new favorite book, picture book, uh, for the month of May, and again, this is The Bruce Swap. All right, let's stick with bears. The next one is called bear's bicycle uh, look a great big bear on his little tiny bicycle and um this is by lauren Renald. and um every year they have a summer scoot and the scoot turns out to be a bicycle ride okay so the and all the animals um are trying to get ready for the scoot but bear's never ridden a bike before okay so um bear is supposed to be practicing and he keeps falling and he falls on his friends um, watch out there goes squirrel uh, but eventually he figures it out so this is bears bicycle uh, by Lauren Renald if you've ever seen porcupine pie that's by the same author so bears bicycle this one is um, very pretty um, I picked it up because of that the bright colors on it this one is called Have You Ever Seen a Flower by Sean Harris. Um, this is a great book for imagination. All right, so very bright colors, almost hurts the eyes, and there's a little girl. And so this most of this picture is black and white, but if you look really closely, you can see a little girl there. And she says, have you ever seen a flower? All right, and look at those colors. So she uh, uses her imagination to find flowers, and you have these great bright um, flowers and pictures. Uh, you can do some predictive stuff with your kids, so you can say, you know, what do you think is gonna happen next, and what do you think she's thinking about, and what does this picture remind you of, and, and that kind of thing. So this is called, Have You Ever Seen a Flower? Pretty book. Uh, we'll wait for nonfiction at the end. This one is called This Is Your World. And uh, it's very nature forward, which you guys know I love that. So we have dad steer and son steer. And um, dad says, let me go out and show you all the miracles today. So they see nature's gifts of butterflies. Um... They talk about what happens to an acorn uh, and this great big huge tree with all the birds in it and all the animals in it. Uh, they talk about the rain. So all the things that they might find out in nature and that he has, um, the little fawn has to look forward to as he grows up. So this one is called This Is Your World and it's by Tilly Temple. Nice illustrations too. This one I read yesterday. Um, it's called The Poet of Piney Woods by Bob Rexa. And would have been perfect for Poetry Month, but it's still kind of cute. Um, lots of animals. And it is written in a poetic, poetic way. Monarchs, wolves creeps, sees rabbit leap. Wolf can't hold a sneeze. Wings fly, fur flutters. Fur fleas, sorry. So really pretty illustrations. 
um, lots to look at. All right. So a little poem here about square, a little poem and a little poem. Maybe if you want to talk to kids about poetry um, or just, um, you know, show them what it looks like. Beautiful blue day. So this one is called The Poet of Piney Woods by Bob Rexa. All right. I thought this one was kind of cute. This one's called 48 Grasshopper Estates. Um, and the main character is this little girl here. And um, she says, I live at 48 Grasshopper Estates, but I've never seen a grasshopper here, which I think is kind of cute. Um, in all the years there, she had never seen one grasshopper or, come to think of it, any grass. That was all right with Cicely. She could make them herself. So she uh, has a lot of imagination and she has lots of friends in her building. And um, she can make a boat out of every anything, a horn, uh, mud. She does lots of great things by herself. Um, but one of the ladies says, I think you, that you should try to find a friend. Um, and if you see in this book here, there's a new boy moving in. And if you look in the back while well, she's inventing something, the boy is moving his stuff in. So this is about new friendship and imagination. This is 48 Grasshopper Estates, written by Sarah DeWall. Cute book. Something a little laugh out loud. Chicks rock. All right, um, so we got a bunch of chicks here and they like to rock. All right. So, uh, nerdy chicks can study and wordy chicks can talk Soccer chicks can take their kicks, and rocker chicks can rock. So, lots of good rhyming words in here. Lots of bright colors to look at. Um, it's just really funny to see chicks playing instruments. Uh, and they uh, prepare for Bach and roll. Uh, and they get a little bit of, get a little bit frightful, and, and they have to be brave to go out on stage. So... Um, this one is called Chicks Rock. Cute. This one I really like. It's called Bird House uh, by Blanca Gomez. Um, and this little girl and her grandmother find an injured bird. And they nurse the injured bird back to health. And the injured bird has to be let go. Although the little girl's really sad to see it go. But um, uh, her her abuelo says that she is cured and she should fly free, even though it's kind of sad to see her go. And they go through um, uh, go through the seasons and they put a little box up and then their friend comes back. So a good, cute book about birds. You know how I like that. Another funny one, No Pants. This is No Pants by Jacob Grant. Um, I think you can guess what kind of um, this book is about. A little boy, they're getting ready to go and he doesn't want to wear pants. So no pants and they talk about all the people they know and how they wear pants. And um, just when they're getting ready to go, they realize, well, dad doesn't have pants on either. So this is no pants, really funny. Um, I think he's got the right idea, but you know, and then this one is the Alpaca Tory. Uh, Ready, Pack, Go by Ruth Chan. Lots of alpacas in here. Good, good vocabulary word if a child doesn't know what an alpaca is. So these, um, the Alpaca Tory provided packing and preparation services for all experiences. So if you're getting ready to um, go on vacation or you're going to school and you just like packing, these guys will pack for you. Um, but even if you only want a few things, um, they're not the best packers. Okay. Um, so there, you might want to just pack your own. 
luggage. Uh, but lots to look at, bright colors, trying to figure out what they're all doing, what they're all packing, kind of a funny story. So we like the Alpac Tori. Um, I have a couple of nonfiction books, which I just stacked, let me grab those. I have four nonfiction books for you. This one is called The Star Beckons, Edward White's Amazing Walk in Space. All right, this is by, written by Candy Wellens. And this is a biography of Edward White and how he got to space. So he always liked to look up at the sky and they'd tell him to come in and he'd say, okay, but he didn't want to go in real quick. He liked to look at the sky. So he became a pilot, just like his dad but he still wanted to look at the stars. So eventually he does get to become an astronaut and go up into space, just like he's always dreamed. There's just not um, hard word, too many hard words in here and there's not a lot of ton of text. So if you're a new reader, this is kind of perfect. Again, this is The Stars Beckoned by Candy Wellens. This one is fun, it's got lots to look at. It's called Wings. It's birds, bees, biplanes, and other things with wings. Words by Tracy Turner. So this is all about things with wings. Um, there's flying insects. There's flying reptiles. Flying birds. As we all know, Miss Sarah likes birds. We've got um, about bats. Um, we have gliders. Um, and then wings that don't fly. So birds that have wings that don't fly. So this is a, just a fun book. Um, there's another one here. It says on the back, don't miss wheels. That one could be a lot of fun. So there's wings. <laughs> this one's cute, especially if you have somebody who likes to fish or likes gross or weird or odd or fascinating things. This one is called Freaky Funky Fish. Odd facts about fascinating fish. So, the author is uh, Deborah Kempe Shoemaker. All right, and she writes interesting facts about fish. So, all fish can swim, and most have scales, but, and the names of all the fish are on here. Some fish just zap. And some fish sting. So fun, bright pictures, not a ton of words, but like um, some good vocabulary words, like an oyster toadfish or batfish. Okay. So again, this is a freaky, funky fish. Lots of fun to say, too. And then the last one I have here is called Bird butterfly eel and when I looked at this I thought bird and butterfly go together but where does eel come in it's by James Prozac Prozac and this one is about what happens on the farm in excuse me in the summertime so it's summer on the farm and bird butterfly and eel are, are at home okay the butterfly is a monarch, and she lives in the meadow be below the pond. So this story follows what butterfly, bird, and eel do throughout the summer. And look at that, the metamorphosis there, a caterpillar to a butterfly. Uh, the illustrations are beautiful. It talks about how the eel travels from the farm all the way down to the Bermuda Triangle. Um, and it, it just shows you what the lives of the animals that go from the beginning of the summer to the end of the summer. So, and I love the illustrations. They're some of my favorite. So again, that's bird, butterfly, and eel. Now, if you saw any books that you liked today or you think that your kids will like, give us a call, go in the catalog, um, or visit our website, and you can get your copies. 
Um, look for more information for summer reading. And we're going to continue, or I'm going to continue, uh, sharing my favorite picture books throughout the summer and through the rest of the year. So as we post this, please share with us your favorite picture book recent that you've read with your child or your grandchild or maybe you've read by yourself because you're never too old to read picture books. All right, have a great rest of the May and I'll catch you in June. Have a great day.